Hey guys, Martin here, and today I'll be covering uh, a render settings tutorial um, focusing on how to get high quality um, yeah, renders with an alpha channel added. Um, for the people who don't know what an alpha channel is, I've got a quick demonstration set up. Um, I think this is the good clip, yes it is. I've got this uh, clip right here, I'm going to drag it into a new composition. And this this is it basically. It's just uh, a tutorial I followed. I'll I'll drop a link in the description from Grayscale Gorilla. It's 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 looking really cool. Um, I'm I'm mostly not the kind of guy who follows tutorials to the letter, but this one is really cool. So um, I've got this, and as you see, it's got a black background. Um, but because we've rendered with an alpha channel, uh, you can just check the transparency grid toggle. I probably said that wrong, and you see that it's transparent, and this is rendered out as a quick time movie, so um, it's it's high quality and it it has an alpha channel. So I'm gonna teach you t this today, and the transparency it's it's just like in Photoshop. So you just drag in a picture. There you go, and it works just like that. So you don't need to mask it out or anything, it's just there. Okay, let's get back into Cinema 4D and let's set up a, uh, a basic scene really quick. Uh, let's just add a text object like in the example I've shown you. So let me just put this down here. And yeah, I just want to add a little fun font. Caviar Dreams, Caviar Dreams, really cool font. Looks like the Typograph uh, Pro font, but it's not. So let's just put on some caps. Let's make it radius 1 and make the steps 2. So, okay, we've got our text here, and now we're just gonna go into the render settings. Um, so open up, uh, click render on the tabs here, and go to render settings. Uh, general full render just leave it at that unless you uh, want to use the others but for YouTube videos I would recommend just leaving the engine at full render uh, going to outputs since you're uploading to YouTube you can go to the 720p or the, uh, 1080p in this case we're going to go to the 720 so 120 by 720 pixels you've got some other values right here but pixels is the most reliable um, I've covered this in my last tutorial, but I'm going to go over the resolution. Um, the pixels uh, per inch, or the DPI, is uh, how many uh, pixels you have per inch, quite obviously. Um, but for web and that kind of stuff, you, you're going to need uh, 72. Uh, that, that does the trick. If you're going to print, like you're making uh, a huge artwork for uh, HD printing, Set the resolution to 300, but you gotta mess around with the width and height settings a bit. But I'm gonna keep this at 72 right now. Um, film aspect, that's alright, because we set it to a 16 by 9. Uh, pixel aspect, make sure this is square. Um, unless you're working with a, a Sony Z1 camera or something like that, which uses an anamorphic ADV. HDV uh, 1.33333 etc. Uh, you're going to want to use a pixel aspect ratio of 1. Um, I mostly render as at a frame rate of 50 but for the example of this video I'm going to go 24. The frame range is um, all frames and I'm just gonna render half of it so let's take 45. That's looking pretty good. Um, and the fields, just just leave it at that, frame step, don't touch it. Okay, um, now you gotta save it. So let's open up a save file and let's go to my desktop and save it as an example. Here we go. Kinda looking at my time right now. Um, okay, to set up an alpha channel, um, you gotta go to QuickTime Movie. I don't have AVI since I'm on a Mac. But for video, set the format to QuickTime Movie. In here, change the settings to whatever you set them by. Uh, 
depth best depth uh, oh wait to the compressor make the depth um, millions of colors plus this is kind of vital and let's just uncheck this one press ok then click the alpha channel and you can leave the rest at that multipass just leave that off unless you want to do something with a multipass and the aliasing um, I advise you to set it to best all the time just just set it to best and a 2x2 two two to a max of 4x4 four four, uh, is pretty good if, if you're doing a really long, long render you can set it to 2x2x2x2 two by two by two by two. yeah I said that um, <laughs> but uh, yeah that, that just gives pretty good results um, then the options just leave them as is unless you want to put up the shadow depth or the ray depth um, that kind of stuff but it's it's looking good to me okay um, just a few quick um, uh, just a quick announcement if you want to uh, see a few tutorials about these settings right here um, I've been experimenting a lot with these uh, I'll just show you one of them this one is pretty fun the cell renderer um, let's just preview that out uh, it's 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 a really cool uh, little render setting. Just leave it as is and check the edges, and you got a wireframe. But unfortunately, you cannot get uh, an alpha channel if you set this. So let's just leave it at that and render it out. Okay, while well, this is uh, going, it won't take long. I didn't really set it up well. It's it's kind of off. You know, it's missing a bit here and missing a bit there. But it's it's all since I got three minutes left or so um, I'm just doing this for the example now I gotta wait a few seconds because I got After Effects open as well and it's done so let's just take my example where are you where are you where are you here's my example and just drop it in here so when we drag this into a new comp you see it's it's transparent uh, you can add a camera move or whatever but this is the basic idea of rendering with an alpha channel um, saves you a lot of time if you don't have an alpha channel you gotta add like um, a color a color key and just key out every bit of white but that's the problem you see if you key out the whites you in this case blacks because I keyed out the background you get rid of this as well and you don't want that so if you can render with an alpha channel do it um, well yeah that's pretty much all there is to it if you got a background on it it obviously doesn't work but if you got a blank background you're set um, I hope I helped you guys out a, uh, a bit um, and again, if you want some more tutorials on the render settings, just let me know. Um, I'm Martin, and I'll see you guys next time.